Good morning, YouTubers. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm going to do a little video about making your own micro mill. Now, I would imagine quite a few people pick up this Proxon. It's got a 100 watt motor and a small table. Uh, costs four hundred and forty nine dollars plus tax now if you want you can pick up from Amazon a 500 watt DC motor with speed control and collets and the collet chuck on the end for seventy nine twenty then you can pick up this little drill stand, which has a cast iron base, and it actually has dovetail uh, slots for the mechanism. So it's kind of like a mini mill. Uh, this thing runs $49.99. Then, if you pick yourself up a milling table, this is the same size one that's on the Proxon, and that's only $36. So, so far, you got about $179 in it, uh, and that would probably include... I have to do my math here, but that would probably include a set of high-speed mill bits. One sixteenth through one half inch for these end mills. Then if you really wanted to get fancy, you could also pick up a two and a half inch vise. Now, what I've done is I've made the exact same thing. I had a 500 watt motor around for about a year, and these have come down in price, by the way. I think I paid $110 for this uh, with a speed control, but no power supply. So $79, $80 for a 500 watt motor, power supply and speed control. I guess that's Bidenomics, huh? Anyway, uh, you have to adapt the motor to the drill stand. Now I did it with a collar that I fastened in that happened to fit tight, very tight. I had to heat it up to get it on there. But you could mill out or you could turn out on a lathe or even with a drill press and a hole saw, you could turn out a adapter that fits on the motor it has four screw holes, four uh, threaded holes for mounting the motor. And you could clamp it in there, and that would work too. It's about a uh, three-quarter to one-inch piece of uh, thick aluminum. But I picked up this little stand, and I had to mount it on a box because the column is rather short. And the column... The round column uh, is 25 millimeter, almost an inch. It's a little flimsy, so I had to brace it up across the top, which added rigidity, but gave me ha handy storage for the tools I need. So, got a little vise on there, got my mill table on there, made little plastic covers keep the debris out and as long as I had to build the box I mounted the power supply underneath here and there you can see she lit up so if I can keep my finger out of the camera let's see how this does
And there you have it. And that's about a uh, five thousandths cut, something like that. Just have to measure to be sure. So, anyway. The Proxon is 449, 100 watt motor. The Spindle, which is a 500 watt and an ER20, which gives you more capacity for cutters, though I wouldn't suggest to go over a quarter inch on a rig like this. It's 7920. Drill stand 4999. Mill table 3599. Set of high speed end mills 1399. And remember the spindle comes with the collets. So it's basically everything you need. If you add a two and a half inch vise, you're coming to $200.68. So you could save yourself $249, less than half price, and you've got a nice little micro mill for those of you that are in the micro mills. The one change I made is I took out the uh, height indicator the depth indicator and I put a quarter inch threaded rod in there so that I could adjust how far down I'm going and if you can get a fine thread instead of coarse thread that would help quite a bit so there you have it two hundred dollars plus tax rather than 449 plus tax and the fun of putting it together, making your own, you too can have a little micro mill if you're interested. If not, disregard this message. Y'all have yourself a good day. <laughs>